Settings are found in the file menu toward the bottom and are organized down the left hand side. Blue settings are on mm -hmm. or enabled and white settings are off or disabled. As you change a setting, it is automatically saved and you simply click the X to exit. If you are primarily using Discovery for geometry prep, you'll want to set the default stage to model. If you prefer a lighter theme, you can change that right below. Below that is the spacing of the HUD, which will be discussed in greater detail in the next section. It is common to change your mouse settings, and that is still found under navigation. MMB is your middle mouse button, and you can change direction, speed, or toggle zooming with the mouse wheel, or other options like rotate about a pre-selected object, which you'll see later. Units for new documents are found under Units and Display Precision for both modeling and simulation. Units for the current document are now found in the new Measurements Settings panel found in the Design Space to avoid any confusion and improve accessibility. The Advanced tab is where you can increase the maximum undo steps, specify which license to use, or enable some new and exciting beta features. File has some general options, including a new and improved healing option that can remove many errors on import. This same healing can also be applied after loading if imported with this option off. Customize allows you to hide or show tabs and create your own keyboard shortcuts. You can even use this to look up keyboard shortcuts, like combine is I, because it used to be called intersect, and C is circle. But if I never draw circles and I combine a lot, I can make this custom shortcut. There is also a nifty shortcut buddy with a list of shortcuts or a keyboard view where if you click on an enhancing key like control or shift, you can learn some advanced shortcuts. Let's go ahead and close out the settings.